Okay, folks, let's go ahead and add a border to this banner, and then we're just about done. Let's select the uh, Eat Fruit layer, Control, Alt, right click, hit Control T to get the free transform function, and we want to resize it from the center, so hold down the Shift and Alt keys. That'll resize it in proportion from the center. Hit Enter. And there you go. Now, to add the border, we're going to need to create a new layer. So hit this Add a new, Create a New Layer button right there. Now we want to fill it with white. So come over here and make sure you have white as your background color. And then hit Control Backspace. That fills that layer with white. Now we want to create a black stroke okay a black border on this layer so let's go to the effects menu click on stroke and let's make it a one inch border which equals a hundred pixels let's stroke it to the inside blend mode normal let's uh... let's actually do uh... let's do a gradient instead of a, a regular color okay and click on the gradient Let's move the white gradient to the center. And let's add another gradient stop here, a black one. Let's make sure this is at 50% for the white. That's right in the middle. And there you have it. We're going from black to white, back to black, a nice gradient border. Say OK. Say OK. And close the palettes down. And there's our border. But where's the rest of our image? Well, wh what you have to do now, folks, is turn down the fill. Okay, The fill is that white fill. We want to see through to the rest of the image. So if you turn down the fill opacity, it lets you see right through to the rest of the image while keeping the effect that you added to that layer. So it turns down the fill but leaves the effect. Okay? And there you have it, folks. There's our banner. Now, what we want to do is print this out. Okay? For you sending us this layer, you're pretty much done. Um, let's check the image size dialog box just to verify everything is correct. If you were designing at the wrong resolution, you can change it here. Let me show you how to get there. You can get there from the image menu, image size, or the easy way is just to right click up here on the title bar and here's the image size dialog box make sure you've got a hundred pixels per inch resolution set and verify your total resolution here it's simple multiply 72 inches by 100 gives you 7200 same thing with the height this banner is good to go the only thing you need to do is save it out now as a jpeg Go to the File menu, go to Save As, select JPEG, click on Save. It gives you the JPEG Options dialog box. A quality of 8 or higher works good. And it's saving it to the JPEG format right now. But anyway, there you have it, folks. Beautiful banner, ready to print. You just send me that file, we'll open it up in our print software and uh, have it on its way to you the next day. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed our tutorial.